Um, here's my Wacom tablet, you know, I work with a Cintiq 21UX and here's my grip pen, so just select it and you get these settings. Now this is uh, this is one. This one is in the in the middle. So you got normal and fast. Set it in the middle. Um, this is the sensitivity of the point or the tip, and it's not in the middle. It's just one click to the right. Go to your details even, and both of these um, are not in the middle, but the one to the right. Okay. So yeah, that's my Wacom. And now for your um, Sketchbook Pro uh, settings, here is my 2B pencil, which I created. Here it goes. You can uh, pause the video to copy these settings and yeah, play around with it, you know? Brush color, it's all set to 0, 0, 0, so that's why I closed it. And these settings. Um, is the brush advanced properties I never even touched them I guess so and below again pause the video and copy those settings so I will close these brush advanced properties and the brush texture um, I guess I even never touched it also so it's set to soft okay again copy these settings and play with it so you got this with just a tiny bit of pressure you got these yeah almost transparent lines and when I push hard with my sketch pencil it goes um, yeah darker okay so that's my sketching pencil um, I got this hard pencil with which I make outlines. Again, uh, copies these uh, copy these settings and yeah, play with it. You know, I've now got the uh, steady stroke, which I selected, with which you can make these awesome yeah steady strokes. You know, when I do it with a normal pencil takes me a lot of time to draw these nice circles so double click the steady stroke and play with it you get a lot of drag or just going to the left more and it will follow up quicker okay so copy those settings again and then for the eraser I got one hard eraser size really doesn't matter you can set this to your likings, but I got the amount erased to 100%. So you got this 100% eraser, and I got a soft eraser, and I set the amount to 63%. Uh, Size again is what you want, but then I can soft erase this, kind of like a brush, you know, for when I'm sketching and I don't want to erase all the parts. I'm still, uh, yeah, trying to keep it within the sketch, you know. So guys, I hope you uh, like these settings. I can show you my airbrush. Just by um, painting on the canvas. Really soft. And painting hard. Again, really soft. This is a nice way to get your shades going, you know. Get to your soft eraser, scale it up, and soft erase some of the parts. Okay, so yeah, guys, that those were my settings. Also, uh, yeah, also this you see here canvas size 5000 by 2813 pixels at 300 dpi. Now, 300 dpi is um, excuse me is printing quality so I set this up to uh, 300 dpi in order for me to print you know with the right kind of quality and the reason why I set this to 5000 pixels uh, 2813 
is because I wanted to uh, record this at uh, high definition so you guys could see um, yeah properly and of course I can change these settings you go to your uh, menu in the top left corner go to your sketchbook pro click on it go to your preferences and here you can change the canvas size uh, click on the canvas and here you can see I've set it to 5000 pixels at 2813 pixels resolution at 300 dpi this makes it really sharp <coughs> and you don't lose pixels you know you see a lot of guys working on 72 pixels which is great for sketching but then when scaling it up you get this all pixelated picture so we don't need that so this uh, being set to uh, HD for recording um, of course you can change it so set the settings to 3000 by 4000 and hit OK now what you see is that it didn't change anything but when you go to file in your top left corner at uh, in your menu and you click new don't save this you can see it made the canvas 3000 by 4000 again go to your settings sketchbook pro preferences canvas let's make this 2 thousand by two thousand okay go to file go to new and you can see we got a nice square remember that when you quit sketchbook pro <coughs> excuse me the settings you made in the preferences with your canvas will every time open with your last settings okay so preferences I got this one at 100 pixels by 100 pixels at 300 dpi okay go to new and here we got 100 pixels by 100 pixels okay guys play around with the settings and like I said pause the video at the settings I show you from my pencils and uh, yeah play around with it okay cheers guys cheers for the support bye bye